It's being reported that the North London derby between Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will take place uh, during the week of the 9th of May. Stephen Bergvine is hinting that he could leave Spurs in the summer and Charlie Sayers has just signed his first professional contract with the club. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's episode, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. It was confirmed by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club on Wednesday afternoon that Charlie Sayers has signed his first professional contract with the club. The defender who celebrated his 18th birthday on Tuesday joined our academy from Southend United in December of last year and has made nine appearances for our under-18s to date, many of them as captain, scoring twice. He has also stepped up to start two matches for our under-23s in recent weeks. Prior to joining us, Charlie made six first-team appearances for Southend United in the National League during the opening few months of the current campaign. Now, reports have been published by the Daily Express and the Daily Mail all about when the North London derby at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will take place. Now, a report in the Daily Express states that the original date for the game was set to go ahead on the 16th of January and was to be broadcast on Sky Sports. But an outbreak of COVID in the Arsenal camp meant that the game had to be called off, but finding a suitable replacement date has proved tricky. The two sides will likely be vying for that final spot in the Premier League's top four and the game is set to go ahead a week before the final match of the season. It could end up being a blockbuster clash with Champions League football in the balance. The report then states that tensions have already flared between the managers after Antonio Conte took issue uh, with Arteta moaning about the fixture list from the Premier League. Antonio Conte said, I only want to remember and remind Arteta about the game that we postponed, Tottenham v Arsenal. OK, yes, if we speak about fair or unfair, OK, and I stop. If someone wants to speak about fair or unfair, we postponed a game at Tottenham v Arsenal, if you remember. I don't forget this, and I think that it is not right to speak about fair or unfair. Now, my thoughts on this rearranged North London derby that could take place the week commencing the 9th of May. I think it would be a good time to play this game. It would be in between Liverpool away on Saturday the 7th of May and Burnley at home on the 15th of May. And then, of course, we would have one game left after the Burnley home game, which, of course, would be the final day of the season, Norwich City away on the 22nd of May. But as I said, I think that this would be a good time to play this game. Um, you know, it would certainly get uh, all of the viewers uh, around the world watching the game. Certainly if Arsenal and Spurs were both, uh, you know, competing for that top four spot, which it looks likely at the moment. But we have nine Premier League games left, nine cup finals, as Fabio Prachi has said in the last couple of days on the uh, on the video released by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Do check that out on YouTube if you haven't seen it already. Um, but a huge nine games coming up. Um, and a huge North London derby coming up. Really looking forward to it. Now, whilst on international duty this week, Stephen Bergvine has been talking to the media all about his time at Spurs and, of course, uh, playing for his country. He said, I don't get to play that much at my club. I'm happy that the national coach has called me up. That's not an obvious thing to do. You don't forget how to play football, but of course you feel that when you don't play that much. It was nice to be here again. We have a good and fun group. I wouldn't know whether my form for the Netherlands will help. We will see. Everybody wants to play, of course. I have to keep my head up and work hard in training. Then we will see what happens in the summer. Now, my thoughts on Stephen Bergvine's comments. Um, I tell you what, I wouldn't be at all surprised if we saw Stephen Bergvine leave Spurs in the summer. 
Um, wouldn't be at all surprised at all. I was actually surprised that he didn't leave in the January transfer window. I think uh, the only issue there was Ajax didn't want to pay enough money that Tottenham Hotspur wanted. Um, and of course, you know, Stephen Bergwijn can be cover uh, for the likes of um, Hunmin Son and Harry Kane if one of those got injured. But it must be very frustrating for players like that because, you know, they don't get much game time at Spurs. They're getting more game time for their countries at the moment. And, uh, you know, let's face it and be honest that, you know, this last 10 days or so during this international break, Stephen Bergwijn has been on fire and done extremely well for his country. I've also thought about this situation as well with the likes of Joe Roden. You know, they go off on international duty. They play extremely well. They get more game time for their country um, at the moment than they do for Spurs. So it must be very frustrating for them. And I have no doubt at all that players like Joe Roden and Steven Bergwijn will be looking uh, to move on from Spurs in the summer. Now, on Wednesday, before England's game against Ivory Coast, which, of course, we won 3-0, um, the fans actually booed Harry Maguire uh, when the lineups came out. And Harry Kane tweeted on Wednesday morning and said, we've worked hard to rebuild our connection with the England fans in the last few years. So to hear Harry Maguire booed at Wembley before kickoff was just not right. Harry Kane on another tweet then said, the fact that he has been brilliant on the pitch and given us all so many great memories makes it even harder to understand. He doesn't deserve that reception. He's got full support in the changing room and should have the same from every England fan. So we're just a couple of days away now until the Premier League is back. Seven games in the Premier League will take place on Saturday. Liverpool against Watford. Brighton will play Norwich. Burnley will play Manchester City. Chelsea will play Brentford. Leeds will play Southampton. Wolves will take on Aston Villa. And Manchester United will take on Leicester. On Sunday, two games will take place. West Ham against Everton. And then, of course, it is our game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against Newcastle United. And then on Monday evening, Crystal Palace will host Arsenal. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and well. Come on you Spurs. Hi, I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly prizes that we run on the site. Prizes such as our signed memorabilia, match day tickets, trips abroad and more. Just go to our website www.footballprizes.co.uk